Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here at Fieldcraft HQ actually with a guy you may know. He's been on the channel a little bit. This is Mike Glover. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, and I really, I just kind of came out. Uh, I got the Freedom Tremor out here. He's gonna sh show Mike that a bit and then we're just gonna kind of walk around the HQ, check out some rigs and I don't know, let Mike talk about whatever he wants to talk about. Yeah. Sexy, sexy voice it is. <laughs> Come along. Yeah, this, this is the headquarters of Phil Craft. This is our little pro shop, but uh, welcome to Heber City. It's one of my favorite places in Utah, but it's your first time in, right? First time at this facility, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice. I pulled in, I was like, well, this is a, this is an operation. Yeah. This is a thing. Yeah, it's, it's cute, it's yeah. quaint. We wanted to make it really like, um, kind of like a uh, rustic, log cabin fill. Yeah. Uh, uh, Heber City is known for fly fishing because of the Provo River. Uh -huh. And there's a lot of people here in the outdoor space, so. And you've been into fly fishing for. Yeah, oh yeah. For a while. Uh, yeah, I've yeah. fly fished since I was 16. And yeah. I've been a big fan and here. It's like a hundred yards away is like one of the best places to fly fish in the nation. Yeah. And, and so we wanted That's, to give it that kind of feel. Yeah, it's awesome. It's all things, uh, it's all things you guys are probably into. Some automotive stuff, some preparedness stuff, some, some survival food, knives. Mike obviously does a lot of firearms training, uh, fly fishing, everything I'm into, man. Every, yeah. I, I joke about him, like Mike's the guy that, I wanna be Mike when I grow up. That's, <laughs> Old. Uh, that's uh, Old one thing we'll, man. we'll figure out eventually. But yeah, so this is kind of storefront. It's not open all the time. Is it like by appointment only, or is it kind of open here and there? If people are in Heber and they're like, oh, I want to get some, get some stuff. Yeah, we, so we, we're open Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. We kind of change the hours around. Okay. We, we, don't, we don't try to draw traffic yeah. because we hold, host a lot of events. Yeah. So our, our thing is like the whole exit to the gift shop. Okay. People come here for training and experiences. Gotcha. Uh, like tomorrow I'm teaching from nine to noon, a, a workshop uh, free for law enforcement. It's like 25 bucks for civilians. Awesome. And you know, we'll have a hundred people here and they'll come through here and, and buy stuff. So yeah, but if you come down to Heber City, usually I'm here in the office working and if anybody hits the door, we, we open the door for them. Okay, you know, It's a well, small cool. business still, so. That's cool. And so a lot of training, your training's on fieldcraftsurvival.com, like schedule or is it yeah, somewhere else now? Yeah, 160 courses dropped for January, February, March throughout Oof. the nation, training in like uh, 20 different states. Okay. About seven different periods of instruction, different classes, and it's aggressive, man. We're, we're training all over the place. It's, it's yeah, insane. Yeah, that's schedule. Yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to manage that. We got <laughs> yeah, do it Sean all. Kirkwood and Kevin Owens who manage all the training, but it's it's uh, it's a lot. Yeah, it's all, all on philcraftsurvival.com. Cool, cool. Um, so yeah, a little storefront. You got some kind of office space upstairs. I don't know if it's really worth. Do you do well, any you training up there, kind of? Let, well, let's show you the little. Uh, Screws around. The meeting room. Dee Dee's in okay. there. My COO, but nice. It'd be cool to show you that. Got some nice shirts. Nice shirts. We got books. Jack Carr's books are here that are signed. If you want to get those. Yeah, Jack Carr actually just lives kind of right down the road. Yeah, I so. could almost hit his. House with a 300 whip mag from here. <laughs> nice. um, yeah, we, we designed this to where we wanted to be able to work upstairs and have um, meetings and stuff, but also have a classroom. So okay. we do like land navigation courses up here and then, um, you know, little small workshop educational stuff. We got a small studio off on this side. Yeah, and so then, were you doing um, some podcast stuff at all, or you do yeah, those we do podcasts up here. Sometimes. We do like the reacts videos that I do. For yep, combat reacts or or uh, the Phil Cross Survival Channel for YouTube. Yeah, people like those things. Yeah, they they get a lot of views. Popular. Yeah, and then here's our little meeting room. It's our secret door, which isn't so secret anymore. Um, it's got a handle on it. So. And look, <laughs> it's our beautiful COO Dee Dee. Hey, Hi, Dee Dee. Good. Dee Dee just, uh, she just uh, passed her one year mark hey, yesterday. Mike, you. You too. She survived one year, which is like 10 normal years. That's in, 10 normal years. One normal field years. craft year is 10 normal years. It's 10 normal years. It's a full career. It is. It's pretty hefty. Um, but yeah, this is our, we, we do a little bit of media, meeting, and also planning. I mean, the whiteboards 
are constantly playing. It's blackboards or, are yeah, nice. blackboards, and yeah. then we do all kind of development strategy stuff on the on the table here. All right. Hopefully, this can all be seen. No, I can't. On the internet. We've already executed everything. <laughs> They're all good. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing secret. Nothing we, super secret already, up here. Um, we've already cashed all those checks. Why does it say get rid of Mike on that? That's weird that it says that. Yeah, it, keeps, it says that a lot. <laughs> Five times I saw it already on the line. Cool. This is, a, this is a cool space, man. Yeah. I'll come in here and hang out sometime. Yeah. This I like is the, the table. Space. This is like my, if you were like, where's your uh, desk at? This is my desk. My, my, I have a free flowing desk and for me to have an office space is kind of dumb because I'm just on the go and you're constantly. always doing things. Dude, it's you're always doing things. Constantly. Cool. Yeah. It's great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. We'll uh, let you get back to work, I guess. Yep, yeah, got a little lounge area that, um, up here where we have snacks fully stocked. Ooh, snacks. Yeah, you want snacks? You hungry? This is where I come to. Now I'll, I'll, I'll come back up, and grab some stuff. We got, we got lunch on the way. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Um, and then sweet, we got sweet. downstairs, the garage. We'll go yeah, see. we'll go down. So Mike's, uh, it's kind of funny. When I was first kind of getting into the overland space, like, yeah. pup, you know, on YouTube or whatever, I like, kind of been into off-road trucks. It was down in Arizona and we we're talking like overland rigs yeah. and you're we like, oh yeah, we, we did that all the time. And now I come here and everyone's all like touchy feely about <laughs> what words you use or whatever. And I don't know, we had a good laugh back then, but Mike's got a bunch of cool rigs. He's a, also kind of a land cruiser yeah. aficionado. So I'm we'll a, go down and I'm see a, a dork couple. when it comes to land cruisers. I have an air cooled Porsche fetish too, but yeah, I saw it. You have that insane. around or is that? I got three of them. One okay. of them is in the other shop that's being Built right now. Yeah, I oh, saw no, your I saw your one ones. like rally one yeah, with the big tires. Yeah, we'll and, go see that. Yeah, we'll that was sweet. It. But the Land Cruiser thing's out of control because at one point I had the FZJ80. When you got yours, I was like, oh, I want to get some, and I got three of them. <laughs> and then everybody's like, why do you have three? And I'm like, I did not know why we. You're like, cause I'm Mike Glover. You got a car like, addiction. Why did we? Well, what it was was the same day we found two of them for five grand each. Okay, and that's a good like, deal, man. I'm like, dude, you can't get these for five grand each. It's impossible. Yeah. Um, Move some stuff out of the way. Yeah. This is the, this is the latest one. This is yeah, this is favorites. like fresh paint job, right? Yeah, fresh out of the rattle can. Yeah. Um, a Walmart special, like literally Krylon Walmart special. People were probably mad at you for that. Yeah. Anytime you do that kind of stuff. They, they were ridiculously mad. And then they saw it and they're like, man, I didn't... It actually looks really good. I'm like, well, yeah, it, it, that's called luck. So I think we're going to do a separate video where we'll dive a little deeper okay. into all this stuff. But we could, we could like breeze. We'll yeah. throw it in this video, just kind of give a brief overview, and sure. we'll do like a deeper dive at some point. Yeah, sure. So this is a, a right-hand drive imported 75 series that has um, a 79 and above series front end on it. So it's got basically clipped on the front end. It's got the turbo upgrade on the 18Z um, engine. And this thing is bulletproof, just will go forever. The interesting about, thing about this is it's brand new. I mean, this, has, this had 1,000 miles on it. It even smells brand new in the vehicle because it was a Japanese fire truck that was never used. It smells like farts. It, no. It's probably farts now. <laughs> no, it's no. got Shulman fart seats in it. But no, great, 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 great vehicle. This, okay. There's very few vehicles that I, I will hold on to. This one, I will never sell. This would be my personal one forever. Just like the Forerunner that's behind you. I mean, this was my first new vehicle that I bought really in my lifetime. I mean, I bought... This I is the back. one we did a walk around. This, I got a walk around of this on my channel yeah. actually from three, three years ago yeah, or this, something. I've had this, yeah. this is a 2016. I bought it the, the year it came out as a contractor when I was a government contractor. And people are like, oh man, you sold the runner. I'm like, I've never sold the runner. It's a daily driver. Um, I just didn't put it on social a lot. Yeah. And um, uh, it's at 160 plus thousand miles and it's never broke down on me. And it's one of the most capable vehicles that we've ever had. It's good. I love it. Yeah, I don't think we said it earlier. If, so if you're a stranger to Mike Glover, formal, former army special operations for what, 20 20 years. 20 ish years. Yeah. And then you did some, I don't know how much I can talk about. You can't. You're pretty public. No, you just, I, 
I can. I got their yeah. approval. Yeah, okay. Their permission. I was a CIA contractor for about two and a half years uh -huh. after my military career. Yeah. And then contracting with the CIA and, you know, went all these tourist destinations like Yemen, Pakistan, and some cool places. And then at the end of it, got tired of it and was like, I don't know, man. I, I want to I wanna work for myself instead yeah. of working for the man. I was paid really well, had a really good uh, job in GRS, but decided I wanted to start a company, and so I started Fieldcraft. And Fieldcraft was born. Yeah, 2016, yeah. 2015 in Pakistan. And Mike did, like, I was kind of talking about military career and stuff, has done so much training. I feel like you should have an award for most trained person because when he was in he was just like oh I want to take that course yeah. and I want to go to that school and I want to do that thing so the amount of knowledge that he has and he's half Korean so he retains that knowledge really well Very good. is uh, is is legendary uh, anyway my cool person a yeah, fanboy fanboy over him once in a while ton of training I will say I've done every single military special operations course and basically every military course except for combat dive um, I almost drowned in pre scuba and then I went to a waterborne team and they realized that I, at the time I was 225 pounds. They're like, your big ass is a liability to this team because <laughs> you'll be the anchor for everything. And so they moved me to a mountain team. I spent like two months on a mirror ops team. And I was the guy on the Zodiac like ripping people out of the water into the boat, but they would never put me in the water because nobody was strong enough to pull my Too big heavy, ass. yeah. Too heavy to pull out, yeah. And, they're like, and I, I wasn't a good swimmer, so. That's just All right. me. Well, you can't, you can't be blessed in every department. You can't, you can't. So um, we got an 80 series here. Yep, FCJ 80. This is a 96. And um, look, th these things are not very good vehicles. Like a lot of people say these are like the best vehicles ever. They're known to have, they're prone and known to have serious issues, including head gasket issues. Yeah. And they're very underpowered. So this isn't like the JDM spec version of that. This is OEM US, but if built and done right, they could be fun, off-road yeah. vehicles. Yeah, the engine, they're like a tractor engine in there. Yeah. And the head gasket's the main thing, so. Yeah. But you still if, have yours? I still have mine, yeah, yeah. but I wanna, I wanna swap the engine and people are always like, oh, why would you swap the engine? And I'm just like, cause it's my car and I wanna be able to maintain the speed limit. Going yeah. up I wanna merge into traffic without dying. Yeah, um, but yeah, I got my, I got my uh, 40th anniversary, my brown one still. And I like it, but yeah, the, the engine is slow. It's horrible. Yeah. Uh, I have at the other shop, I have a, a 2.0 TDI engine and a, a, a crate uh, turbo engine in a box brand new that I was going to swap into this Vanagon, but we decided to hold off. I might be swapping that into this FCJ because it's a good turbo diesel option mm -hmm. yeah. that's light and small, but you don't, it's not excessive power, but it's a lot of torque and it's yeah. a lot, it's a lot better powered and suited than this inline six. Yeah, here. and turbos, all turbos just do better at elevation. So yeah, it's, I mean, that thing right there with its, its turbo diesel is like, Bulletproof. Yeah. And it's not slow. I mean, this thing is slower than that. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah super I love fun. my 80. A lot of cool things about it, but power isn't its strong suit. Yeah. I sold two additional ones that we had. One was a, a 40th anniversary, and the other one was uh, a, a 96 as well. And I just dumped it to put more resources in this. But this is a cool screw around wagon. Yeah. This is the real. Uh, this is one of my favorite vehicles, uh, weirdly enough. Yeah, they're cool. They're, but it is, uh, this, is, this one's like brand new. It's like a 91. I bought it from a dude in Montana. And we put the Go Westy package, like the off-road package on it, um, new exhaust. But it's got the stock engine. The problem with this is um, the swap for that engine into this is very difficult because this is uh, automatic. And they're hard to find. The autos are really hard to find. Yeah. So this around town's fun, but you go downhill, that's one thing. You're trying to go back uphill, forget about it. Yeah. I'm, I mean, you might as well just get towed. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you got a yeah, couple, couple underpowered vehicles next to each other, right? Yes. This is, uh, the, I, I am looking for a synchro. Okay. Because if I can get a four-wheel drive manual, then we could swap that turbo diesel into this really easy. Okay. 
And, I hear they're yeah. in the shop all the time too, though. You got like heavy all, maintenance on these ones. All the time. Yeah. Oh, and we got this little guy. This is fun. Yeah, the general. Yeah, so we, look, you know, I'm a big fan of Polaris's UTVs. I, I actually used, I think, I, I think this is the case in special operations, the troop that I was with in Afghanistan in 2010 was the first troop to use razors okay. in Afghanistan. So we got them freshly wrapped, like brand new off the lot, infiltrated into the country. I even have pictures of uh, Jamie Caldwell, who has a company called One Minute Out. Uh -huh. Of a picture I took of him in one right before some of the guys we were with rolled it on the helicopter landing zone. I was kind of wondering, did the military ones have quite like in this world, everyone wants loud exhausts, and I want a quiet exhaust. We had stealth exhaust. We had like, the quiet ones. I've tried to find those. They must not sell them like on the yeah. market or something. But. Yeah, there's a there's a baffle set up for the military version. When, when we first got these, th this is the general, but when we first got the razors, mm -hmm. they were just straight up from the dealership, okay. but multi-cam wrapped. Okay. And, and they've since obviously changed. Even when I was a team sergeant in 2011 and 12, when we used them in Libya, they were definitely heavily modified. I prefer the general, which is yeah. why we built this one out. I have a general too, I don't know if you know. I have this same one. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah, well, so we sent this to my, a buddy of mine who's a, a former special operations guy who, who owns a custom UTV shop. And he just did some bolt-on mods. But I like it just how it is, man. Because yeah. it's like utility-based. You could take it the family out. Yeah, you, you could use it out on the ranch. You could yeah. take it out it's on the trail. It's got a roof rack for like, I mean, it's utility in mind. It's like a, to yeah. me, this is like the perfect hunting rig. Yeah. Um, if I was going to get a razor, that would be a perfect platform to train up for rally and to train up yeah. for motorsport stuff. But you're kind of getting into more now, huh? Wanted to do the rallies and more? I'm racing this season in American Rally. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. cool. It'd be fun. Cool, cool. Yeah. We should um, maybe stop by the other shop. Yeah, you want to swing over there? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Might as well. Cool. We're going to go over to Fieldcraft Building Number 2. Yeah. Check let's out do some it. stuff. Let's go check it out. Sweet. Oh, do you see that wall right there? So very subtle, but all, what I think is cool about this is all the people who have signed this because these are people that we've trained here in house that signed this wall. It's one of my favorite parts. I don't know. I'm, I'm big on this like signature thing. It's kind of weird. It's about filled. Yeah. Have you signed that yet? No. We got to have you sign it. Yeah. I got to get a marker. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My signature is so bad. It's just basically um, scribble, but you'll know. Keep going, keep going, keep signing. <laughs> keep signing. There you go. Okay, here you go. <laughs> okay, so we're over here, what? At the lab? This is called the lab. Um, I don't know why. We just decided that the lab was cooler than. Sounds cool. The shop or something? Yeah, the or, lab. Or place. So, white coats only in here, so. It, yes. It has mat level five. Yeah, we got to go through a little decontamination protocol, and then we'll uh, we'll check out what's inside. No so what what's, what goes on over here? So, um, you know, one of the things that we started doing on um, really early on is is we wanted to kind of insource a lot of the things that we were doing, like hats and shirts and swag and okay, um, and obviously shipping and receiving. A lot of companies that are small business smartly outsource and using shipping fulfillment. Mm -hmm. And we did that for a while, especially when we didn't have enough room. Like in Durango, we didn't have a lot of room to expand. But um, coming to Heber City, we had plenty of real estate, so we decided to kind of insource some things. So yeah. all of our shipping and receiving is done here. Uh, so if you order anything on PhilCraftSurvival.com, it's shipping from this location. And then we manufacture hats, T-shirts, in-house, and we fulfill other guys like, you know, Jack Carr, a mutual friend of ours. Um, all of his things, if you order from Jack uh, on his website, um, is fulfilled here as well. That's awesome. So we kind of like insulate our friendship network here. Yeah. Um, we also... It pays to have good, cool friends doing stuff. It does. Yeah. It does. We got a back end of this where we do a couple things like, you know, working on vehicles, 
Uh, we got a Porsche 911 coupe that we're building. My rally Targa is out back, so you can maybe walk around that and show, I'll show you that. So Mike's getting big into the rally game. Trying. Uh, I'm yeah. trying. It's hard. because Put all that old uh, army driving training to the test. Try right? to. Like that Humvee translates really well. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, but yeah, come on. Let's go come inside. Check yeah. some things out. Um, for us, we have a front end which allows us to um, ship and throw everything in the box that we need to on the front end. And then we got the back end that stockpiles. Oh, nice. Stuff. You don't have to take nice one of those. Stuff. Take okay. that. Okay. I'll take that. it. I'll that's, steal it. That's like the best fire rod. Ever Sorry made. about your inventory. That's all you. All you. I all actually right. set aside. Oh, yeah. We got some stuff so, here, too. Here. Jack. Yeah. Check our stuff. Jack, text me back, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll steal that. Put that in my pocket. So all okay. the shipping receiving is done here, um, boxes, rows of shirts, and then we take all the inventory stuff and we separate it. Awesome. So this is some kit we're throwing in the truck. That's some kit we're throwing in the truck. Nice. Uh, this is nice stuff. Yeah, 20 liter, 40 liter, 80 liter, and then visor panels, mobility bags, the whole loadout. Thank you, man. Always. Hopefully I win this giveaway. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. I can't enter it. You can't? No, nah, it's conflict of interest. Do it just in, <laughs> Enter do it we... under someone else's name. Oh, okay. Yeah, Let's yeah. Do that. Yeah. I'll win it, and then we'll split it. This I hope time. you win it. That would be fun. That would be awesome. People would be like, "Yo, oh, these scammers!" And yeah, like, Dude, they would. It's just, yeah. it's just the luck of the draw. It's just lucky, lucky Koreans. It's lucky Asians. Yeah. Cool. Um, so this is uh, all the shit. All the shipping of every field craft thing comes from here. Yes. Wow. Everything does. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. It's a lot so of work. Got, we're running out of space. You know, this is the front end, which is the stock of the bins, but the back end, we're about to get. Didi, how many pallets are we getting? 48. 48 pallets worth of gear and equipment that is shipping in here. Yeah. You That's selling these fannies? The back end. No, this is no. a Pendleton one. We do have a Philcraft yeah. fanny here, though. Okay. You're not wearing a Philcraft fanny. You should have a Philcraft fanny. I should. Fanny. I mean, I, I'm all about the fanny. Game. So we did do a Black Rifle Coffee Philcraft fanny that's brand new. That's coming out, but that's okay. That's our fanny. Oh, yeah. Here, this is nice. This is olive and orange. This is the same color as the my new van. I wrapped it. That's yours. Yeah, it's it's sweet. Good. I'm gonna put it on right now. You can Venmo me later. Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> so invoice me. I like that. See, that looks proper. Those it's, are skateboard colors. It's fitting. Yeah. Looks good. Looks good. Into it. Sweet. So what else? We want to go in the back a little yeah, bit? Yeah, let's go in the back. I'll show you the back. It's it's not as impressive because it's a working warehouse, but yeah, you check it out. So we just quick we we have leather that we do in house. We have a whole leather shop. Okay. That leather shop is moving to Mississippi. Okay. Um, and but that's allowing us to free up space. We still have a leather shop. It's just he's going to do it from his house and it frees up 200 square foot of space yeah. because we have 48 pallets that are landing in like a couple days. Okay, yeah. Isaiah, he's... Hey, Isaiah. Um, oh yeah, here's some of the leather, huh? Yep, some of the leather that's left behind, scrap leather for Fieldcraft Frontier, which is our our kind of like uh, made in America brand of things that we want to do. Yeah, that stuff looks good. Yeah, we want to keep the assurances of like craftsmanship type stuff. So every shirt that you get from Philcraft is made back here. Addison's running in the wheelhouse. We actually, because of some of the stipulations that we have, we'll have to turn this uh, like basically 24 hours a day. And that's going to be uh, quite an undertaking. But that's going to be constant. That's cool that you do it in-house, though. Yeah. So if you go to like any Black Ruffle Coffee coffee shop, they'll have a Philcraft area where you can get our swag, all of our hats, shirts that you buy at Black Rifle or on our website are made right here. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Go out here. So back here we have laser engraving, like all the Yeti mugs that we get, we buy directly from Yeti and we can get them laser engraved because we have an account with Yeti, but we, we bring it in house and then we engrave it here. Okay. So small stuff like leather, uh, Keychains and different novelty items; those would be laser engraved here as well. This this is one of the bills that we're doing for uh, 
uh, East African Safari. So this would be a full out race build. 1983 uh, 911 Coupe, basically built for rally racing. This yeah. will go to Africa. It's got the signature rally oh, yeah. lights up front. Yeah. These are so cool. Super fun. You got another functioning one right now, right? Huh? You got another. Yeah. That right out there. Mine, oh, yeah. We could do a walk around on that one. It'd yeah. Fun. Yeah, that'd be sweet. And then next to my, my beater lane racer. That never You're 40? Runs. Never runs. Yeah, looks good though. Yeah, that's all that matters. Um, yeah, that's it, man. Well, we cool. have another corporate office where we do a lot of our online content. We have um, about 12 offices in downtown Hebrew. Okay. Where we kind of run corporate admin stuff. And then we got a North Carolina facility, Kevin Owens. Kevin's out there, yeah. Sean is at. Uh, we, we operate about 25 subcontractors for training out of there. Okay. But, you know, we like to, I, I want to keep it small, very intimate, high quality. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's what we've been doing. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's Mike. Fieldcraftsurvival.com. Uh, you do everything, though. They got podcasts. They got very active on Instagram, YouTube. Mike Glover has his own thing as well. Yeah. What's your YouTube? Is it just Mike, Mike Glover Actual? Mike Glover Actual? Yeah. 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 So if you're into, if, you've, if you're subscribed to my channel, you'll like Mike. He's everything, everything me, but a little bit, like a little bit cooler, a little bit cooler yeah. than me. Um, so we're going to cut this video off here, I think. And then I'm just going to do a walk around of several of Mike's cool cars. And that video will probably go up right after this one. Yeah. So you can check it out. Also, if you want, Mike's doing a video of the Freedom Tremor on, on one of his channels. Philcraft Survival Channel. Yeah. I'll link it up here in the corner. Cool. And you check that out. Cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Thanks, man. See cool. you guys. All right. Take it easy. This thing is just so cool.